Hey guys, I'm just going to do a little quick video for you on my new push mower that I acquired. Um, probably won't be using this much longer as you can see. I'm not going to go down there. I'm doing another video on that and my, B, that and my B80. But um, long story short, uh, it's, it's getting pretty chilly quick. Leaves are falling. I've seen a lot of those white woolly bears which I showed in that, that last video. Uh, a white woolly bear and, and the tail goes, you know, the whole, um, you, you see the maybe a snow filled winter is possible. Just, you know, a little hype I guess. I, I definitely hope that we get a decent winter, get a lot of snow for once, so. Um, but anyways, to get into this mower quick, I picked this up, uh, I'll tell you the background story on it. So what happened was, I went down to my neighbor's house three or four years ago. Uh, actually, I was coming home from school. So I was going up past his house. And he had a Toro push mower for sale for $15. I bought it and that's what got me started. I, I definitely at least made a thousand probably with that mower. And uh, ran it to the point where it was burning so much oil that it wasn't worth keeping. I upgraded to this which was absolutely great and I'm still going to fix it eventually. Uh, the issue was is the carb must have got clogged. I started it up and it caught fire. Uh, blew gas onto the gas tank. It, it was a mess. I had to get the fire extinguisher and put it out. And I tried to clean the carb. And yes, the, the, the carb was a little fire damaged because, well, plastic. I'm not going to go into the carb and open it up, but it's hard to see, but it's all chewed up here, and that's all from the fire. But um, I can't get this carb to reseal. It very well could have been from the heat. So I might just need a whole new carburetor. But um, I've been doing lawns with my 316 and my 855, and that's great, but... A lot of places I would do a much more quality job with a push mower and I know that. And uh, so the other day I was going past the same neighbor's house and uh, lo and behold I see this bright yellow push mower out there and I was like that's a nice push mower but then it clicked. You know he sold him cheap before and I, I know what you know if I were to go to a small engines dealer that's this is at least a you know 60 to 75 dollar push mower in running condition you know. So basically what happened was he got this, from my understanding the person before he, uh, that he got it from passed away and uh, it was sabotaged because somebody was upset that they didn't get it or get stuff so they sabotaged the push mower. They cut this primer bulb and they cut this wire and as you can see it's skinny, it's skinny right here. Reason being is it was replaced. Uh, so they cut the spark plug wire out of retaliation and this gentleman definitely isn't trying to make a buck and uh, honestly he, uh, he, he he had it up for sale, gave him a call and he said 20 bucks and uh, I said sold, I'll come up and hear it run and uh, put a little gas in it and she fired right up, mowed a lawn today, made the 20 bucks back just on that little lawn mowed my lawn with it, did good, and uh, if, I, if I get two years out of this push mower, this push mower alone for the yard or yards that I'm going to need it for could make me up to $2,000. So that's the type of, type of profit I can make off of a $20 machine, and it's actually pretty cool how that works, but uh, it's not perfect. I'm not buying it for it to last 10, 15 years. I mean, if it does, great, but I bought it as just a cheap mower. Hopefully, if I can get a couple years out of it, I'll be very happy. It's not overhead valve, so it's a little more, in my opinion, I like to just regular flat, you know, flathead design and simple, you know, but uh, plastic carb, unfortunately. But it's a rock solid machine. It did me good today. I thought it did a great job and I'm very happy with it. I, uh, can I start this up for you guys? We'll do it. Hopefully she starts. I ran her earlier. Alright. Bear with me here. 
See if I need primed. She's got gas. She said fire up now. for the long run time. I typically would just start it up and let it go, but uh, I ran it out of gas earlier and it sucked some dirt through the carb, as I believe it's been sitting for a while. And uh, I uh, put gas in it, it was running rough. I, I tried to let it smooth out. I unbolted the top of the carburetor and poured sea foam down it, so it uh, ran that through and it's been running decent since, so. Hopefully uh, that helped a little bit. Sea foam is always great to have. But uh, just wanted to do a quick little video on that. I hope you guys liked that and liked the story along with it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Bye.